Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, Christ is Lord, and I have a very bad news for you, brothers and sisters. Three hundred fifty people converted to Islam within forty-eight hours after the attack in New Zealand, and this is TV, Islamic TV stations publishing the news. Brothers and sisters, what we can do now? What we can do? I mean, think about it. 350 people converted to Islam, brother. Uh, look what happened, uh, brother. What happened is that the Muslims when they fabricate news even they use a tragedy for their propaganda this is the news that this is news tv who start publishing this actually uh, they are just copying somebody else this is news tv they publish this it's called and this is supposedly a news agency publishing and they have 1.5 million subscriber publish march 19 2019 and this is supposedly people in new zealand converting to islam and saying the shahada but guess what brother i found the video that this is an old video about five German converting to Islam in 2007, brother. Two thousand seven. <laughs> Two thousand seven. This is the video. <laughs> <laughs> I am unbelievable. I mean, brother, always we have to trust Muslim news. If Muslims they say this is what happened, it is what happened. You have to be always trustworthy and you have to believe Muslims don't lie, brother. Brother, this is happening, brother. A video in which 350 accepted Islam went viral in social media in New Zealand okay a true story the brother I mean even tragedy they tried to use it for their sake of the propaganda of Muhammad people are leaving Islam left and right and look the 350 I mean they don't say like 10 20 I mean, 350 I mean why you stop there make it 365 I mean why 350 why 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 you made the 350 number I mean why why you stuck with the 350 and they post all pictures of people we do not know who they are and then use and you know they publish and they say they send everywhere brother 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 a brother true news brother true news shaheed sadaki aslam alaikum alhamdulillah wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah 50 Muslim brother after we they killed and in New Zealand 350 brother they accepted Islam I was thinking to make a video saying 3 million converted to Islam in the last 24 hours and trust me the Muslims will copy paste and they will spread it all over and the funny they went to the guy who owned the video and they told him to disable it because this is getting busted so if you click at the video now it says oh, it's working now ah, I tried uh, <laughs> I tried a minute ago <laughs> hold on uh, I think this is the other link this is the original link 
hold on this is the original link the original link you know it is not listed really you have to search for it I, I did search for the name if you look here see it says the video is unavailable you know why because he made it unlisted I believe just to cover the problem so here it says that this video is published 2007 as you see August 25th 2007 and the Muslim is publishing it all over saying people convert into Islam brother brother true story and I learned you know in my lifetime that's always if a Muslim say something you better believe it because they don't really lie look look the news look I mean this is became in the news all over I mean everybody uh, they see they took it off this is Kashmir news after they after they found they got busted they took it off from the <laughs> Kashmir <laughs> you see they took it off <laughs> okay so Kashmir they took it off let us see uh, lover Islamic okay I mean who is Muhammad? Who is Muhammad, brother? Who is Muhammad? A brother, who is Muhammad? Let us see. Copy, paste. Yeah, people are converting to Islam from everywhere. Are you, are you kidding me? I mean, everybody know that. This is not a secret. Uh, I mean, if you search for the news, Nablus, uh, Anyway, I mean, what I can say, what we can say, that's it. I mean, we have to face uh, the, the the truth now. What we can say. Alif Dawa. This guy, this, 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 this guy is a Pakistani. I mean, there's tons of them, by the way. They are making videos left and right. And look. 350 converted to Islam, new Muslim. Kayas Rahma, Sirat Al Mustakim, Sirat Al Mustakim. I mean, I was thinking in the last 24 hours to convert to Islam, but not because of the attack. For sure, this attack is a very sad attack. But the reason I wanted to convert to Islam, I said to myself, if you become a Muslim and Allah he promised you a lot of women and to be honest with you I mean who can resist that a lot of women Abdul one woman will drive you crazy don't you see what happened with Muhammad Muhammad he made a verse in the Quran because he, he claimed that Allah he gave him that verse because two of his wives they drive him not and almost he committed suicide Two women only for sure Muhammad he had many women but two of them they made him shish kebab you want to have 72 women and Muhammad he said to those women that Allah told him if you both of you don't turn to Allah in repentance you better know that Allah and Allah is his protector and Jibreel and every single believer and every every angel all they will protect the prophet all of this to fight with two women if in a fight with two women muhammad he needed allah to protect hmm? then lu allah even is his protecting friend <laughs> and jibreel allah alone is not enough Allah alone is not enough. We need Jibreel. And even Jibreel will be involved, brother. And every righteous Abdul in the world will take the side of the Prophet against those two women. Muhammad, he need Al-Qaeda now, ISIS. I mean, every single Abdul. Somebody call me Mihijab. And among the believers, and furthermore, not enough, not enough Allah and Jibreel and all the believers, no, not enough. And furthermore, all the angels I mean who's left with this you can fight the whole world my friend what are you talking about all of this to fight two women and they are five foot tall 
what about those women who they are 30 meter tall in the heaven and their ass each one of them is one mile I mean I don't think this will be enough for you to help you against them hmm I'm not going to stay long I just wanted to share with you this is a, a true news which is not fake absolutely uh, and I'm thinking to make a video it says like a Christian prince converted to Islam after uh, I mean so uh, people are converting to Islam hmm. uh, you know by the way there is people convert to Islam that's not uh, you know that's not the issue but why will I I mean why are you fabricating news there is people they convert to Islam a year or two after they leave Islam most of them when they find that everything they've been taught about Islam is a lie they leave and then we not only they leave they became an enemy to Islam they expose Islam even more and there is many examples of them actually already in, in YouTube people who used to be Muslims and they left Islam and now they are exposing Islam so but I advise that the num the I think the number here is not right. I think they should have changed the number uh, to get the accurate number. I think it was like three hundred fifty million, not three hundred fifty people. I mean, at least at least find a, a video nobody knows about it. So this this guy who fabricated this news, he said to himself, "This is an this is a video from two thousand seven." I mean, how in the world people will remember this? From 2007, nobody will remember it. I will copy it, and I will make a video about it. And I will say, 350 people convert to, to Islam in New Zealand. And then everybody copy my news. And then all of us, we say, take a beer. And now, right now, as we speak, every Muslim is taking a beer. True story. Hmm. I know, I, like uh, you know, I always, by the way, all my life, I, I like to believe Muslim news. All my life, I don't like to listen to any news. In the Middle East, I remember when I was, I was a, a student. I told you this before. Our teacher, we have a, we have a, in the book of history, we have a section for Arabian, Islamic, Arabian. An Islamic uh, 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 scientist, but this section only for Arab scientists. Arab scientist, hmm. and then this, the teacher he was saying to us, "Now we will speak about the Arabian scientist Al Khwarizmi." And I said to myself, "Al Khwarizmi, what does that name mean?" So I said, "Sir, what Al Khwarizmi mean? I mean, it doesn't make any sense in Arabic." He said, "Al Khwarizmi is not an Arabic word." This is the, the city he, he is from. I said, where is that city? He said, this is a Khawarizm. I said, where is Khawarizm? He said, in Iran, in Persia. <laughs> so I said, so how we call him an Arab if he is from Persia? He's a Persian. So look what they do. They have no shame. They just don't want to make him an Arab. They want to make anyone is a scientist. They want to make him an Arab. That's it. He's a Muslim, so we make him an Arab, and that's it. So now we have a book of history making everyone who is not an Arab making him an Arab he like it he don't like it he's an Arab the guy is dead then he can do nothing about it but the, is, imagine you say you say uh, 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 scientist al-khawarizmi kalaroina kalaroina or let us say California or you say uh, and you say what, why he says his last name California? He says because he's from California, and he says so. How he's an Arab? <laughs> That's very normal in the Middle East in Islamic countries. I mean, they hijack everything. Even the food, they call it. Even the coffee, they say it's an Arab Arabica. The, the Arab don't even grow coffee. We don't grow anything. It's a desert. We have coffee since when? I mean, you go to the store. It says Arabica coffee. We don't have coffee. Actually, the first time we learn about the coffee, it's when the uh, when the when the Turkish occupied the, the, uh, the Arabian countries, <laughs> and the Turkish themselves they learned from somebody else. They don't grow coffee, and nobody have coffee. The, uh, coffee doesn't grow in our land. It's not in growing our land. It, it, you know, I mean, it's, it's a desert. So uh, everything is hijacked, and today 
is nothing new. It just another another false news. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, I hope somebody will contact them and correct this news that this is not a 350, 350,000. Okay, all, all what we need them to do just to take the old video so nobody will notice next time. Please, next time do something smarter. I mean, hire two people, pay them one hundred dollars, you know, each, and they will come and make a video. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, right? Yeah, three hundred fifty. Do you know about Imam Tawhidi? Okay, hold on. He did an interview with with uh, Tommy Robinson, and he was clearly using takia. I mean, why Tommy Robinson? He he do he do interview with such a guy. This guy is a scam. He is a Shia, my friend. Shia, Shia, they do nothing but taqiyya. This is what the Shia do. As, as you see, if uh, taqiyya for those who do not know, uh, you know, fake news, if, if, uh, fake answers. Muslim, in order to protect his religion, he say anything. So why this guy? He don't dare to do an interview with me. Why they wanna be with the with Tommy Robinson? I don't speak Arabic. He can, you know. Eh. Uh, same old news, my friend. Same old news. Hmm? Uh, NTCP, you are Lebanese. Just al alhamdulillah. Are you? If you are, I mean, I don't know what I am actually. Everybody make me something. In the morning, I am Saudi. Afternoon, I am uh, Jordanian. Uh, 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 by night, I am Iraqi, and uh, sometimes Syrian, sometimes Lebanese, sometimes even Palestinian. I'm international, my friend. Uh, and uh, even some people sometimes ask me, "Where are you from?" I say, "I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan." I mean, because my name is all over the place. I found I find my names Muslims attacking me in uh, even in in. Uh, in Vietnam uh, blog, Vietnamese, you believe it? In Vietnamese, uh, a, a Chinese blogs, uh, Indonesian blogs, you name it. I mean, everybody, and everybody make me as he wish. Some they say this guy is an Iraqi. Some they say he's a Saudi. Some they say I, I mean, like I am, I am like Allah. Nobody know who I am. Very mysterious. <laughs> Will say you are an Indian, and no, they, until now they did not say that. Even though I like I like curry, by the way, I like curry very much, and spicy food. But until now, I don't know why I did not say I am an Indian. I, I, I'm really disappointed. I mean, say I'm an Indian. What's, what's wrong? You know, so I like to be an Indian. But until now, they did not say I am an Indian. And by the way, I mean the Muslims instead of debating you about about what you say, they debate you about who you are. You know what I mean? Like today we were talking about uh, uh, Muhammad, the supremacist uh, uh, white man, the, the, the man who don't like black people, who how racist he is. And Abdul is worried about Jesus was a praying to who? Huh? I mean, look what we are talking about and look what the Abdul trying to talk about. Because when a Muslim, he's, you speak about something very embarrassing in his religion, he try right away to change the topic immediately right away right uh <clears throat> anyway I, I, i'm really sorry for the muslims for the false news they are supplying next time muslims try to do i mean something smarter what is this picture here let us see look look it's, it's already in google 350 350 accepted islam today in new zealand it's all over the news. Muslims are spreading this all over. <laughs> and the same, and they publish those two, too. You know, I mean, they don't have any problem to lie. Find a new video. I mean, come on. You Muslims are like, what's wrong? Look at this news here. Look, look, look. Let me show you this one. I want to see this one. 
Oh, this one is exposing them. Oh, okay, this one is exposing them. All video and images shared as individual converting to Islam after Christ massacre. Okay, so like somebody, uh, somebody uh, is gets exposing them before me. Uh -huh. Yeah. So those supposedly look Muslims. They are sharing right now. Do you know the terrorist attack in Christ Church killed fifty-one Muslim today? Approximately three hundred fifty have converted to Islam, and now they are posting for you the pictures. And then you will find that those pictures exist long time ago. <laughs> oh boy! I mean, you need you need to study from the you need to learn from the prophet how to lie. The prophet he can teach you better. All right. You see, this is the video. They are. I mean, I don't know what to say. And look, the video is all over, all over, all over. But this is an old video, my friend. I mean, do better. Think. Think before you do that. People are laughing now. You know? Why you do that? Huh? This image from 2016, that image from 2000, etc. I mean, all is old images. Yet they claim that those people, just some of those who converted to Islam. Hmm. Anyway, uh, they killed 50 Muslims while praying yesterday, and today 300 accepted Islam in New Zealand. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I'm very disappointed. Why? Uh, uh, why you did leave the army? I don't want to talk about those things. I went to the army. They told me you have to carry a gun. I told them I cannot carry a gun. I'm an Arab. We uh, we use rocks. They told me no. In American army, you cannot use rocks. You have to use guns. I said okay, I'm leaving. And this is a true story. If you don't believe me, I can show you the reference from Sahih Bukhari. Should I tell you how long I stayed where I served? Come on. Did I tell you about this in the army? <laughs> Once I was, you know, you know, when you do, when you join the army, you go through a, a training, right? You're at the boot camp. And I was sitting, like, you know, after training, etc. And I have a bunch of guys, very nice guys. And we were talking about Islam. And there is a guy next to me, actually. His name is Muhammad. And later he left Islam because of me. Uh, I was talking about Islam. But uh, actually, I skipped this one. <laughs> Hold on, I I I I told you the story from the end. You, you know, like this is a, what they call it in the movie uh, business, flash, uh, flash, like you know, back flash, whatever. Anyway, so a day before, the drill sergeant he was shouting at my face. He wanted me to go in the mud. I don't want to go in the mud. <laughs> I told him no English. <laughs> Just for fun, huh? honestly. The guy, he believed it. He thought I'm serious. He said, he started shrieking and screaming at me, no English? How you joined the army? How in the world they accept you to join the army? What happened in this army? They accept a guy to don't speak English? You are saying to me, no English? And then he kicked me out. You know, he said, Look, go, go there. I did not even let me explain. <laughs> and then the second day, I was training those guys about Islam in the in the in the soldier room, and then the drill sergeant he suddenly the room became so quiet. He told him like not to move, and I was talking, but I noticed there is something fishy, and the drill sergeant was behind me, and he held me from my shoulder. He said, "No English, huh? <laughs> no English, huh? Follow me." <laughs> And since and actually I met I met a guy he was with me in the in the boot camp many two years after or three I forget his name from far away you know he did not remember my name too but he remember one thing he said no English how are you <laughs> but I was joking with him I, I did not uh, you know when when the drill sergeant he was screaming at me I was saying no English I was I wasn't really I wasn't saying I don't speak English. <laughs> Anyway, it was funny. Uh, 
So, uh, uh, Abdul, I, I think no English news is the same as no news, as, as your news. <laughs> I was joking, but you most times you mean it. You mean it. 350 converted to Islam and later we got you busted. I mean, do you think people are fool? Get the new images, find people who like a different, different uh, pictures, different video, brother. I mean, come on. I mean, why you don't learn? You see, this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. Muhammad, he copied the story of Zul Qurnayn, the man with the two horn. And later we found that this is, was made by a guy. His name is Yaqub. He is Syrian. He is, a, a, you know, he made a fiction story about Zul Qurnayn, which means Alexander the Great. Muhammad, he copied the story of the seven sleepers. He claimed that this is from his God. And later we found that this is a, from a, 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 a Syrian, this one from Syrian too, Syrian bishop who wrote a fiction story about a Christian youth who they've been persecuted by the king and later they will be victorious. Muhammad, he copied the story of the ant talking to the ants and Suleiman was smiling. And this is a story he copied from the Legion of the Jews. I mean, this is exactly what's happened to the Muslim today. They copy something and they claim it is a new, brand new. And nobody knows about it. And later we find that all of this is nothing but a fabrication. Nothing, no English. This is nothing but no English. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, the drill sergeant, he did not even give me a chance to tell him I was I was joking. He screamed at me and he was so upset, so I could not really talk to him. If, if you see his face, he would jump like 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 the devil. No English, no English. How in the world they let somebody join the army who doesn't speak English? <laughs> yeah, I was uh, thinking to change my name to, uh, uh, what, what his name, Mr. Bean? The, the movie, Joe English. So Abdul, <clears throat> I am really, really sorry that the news turned to be false, but I will wish you a better luck for ne next time. So you may be better next time you do something better. I mean, the lie, you can study it, you search in the internet, try to find if this is there, not there, if it's true, not true. I mean, try something better, please. I mean, this is very embarrassing. Hmm? This is very embarrassing. Johnny English, Johnny English. This is Johnny English story. I mean, even Mr. B can come with something better. What is that? I mean, and now look. So now what I will do? I told all I told all my friends that this is a true story. And now what? It turned to be not a true story. How embarrassing! What I will what I will tell my friends now? What I will tell the mujahideen from Shishenia who said Allahu Akbar? They they are going to slaughter some uh, uh, infidels because of this good news. What I will tell my friend Osama bin Laden, I send him a fax. What I will tell uh, uh, a brother, uh, you know, Al Baghdadi, the Caliphate. He have party there now. He, he he ordered that every citizen should drink camel urine. The whole state, Islamic state of ISIS, now drinking camel urine. Takbir. I mean, and now what? After all this urine they drunk, it turned to be false news. So what they would do now? Piss it? This is really very embarrassing. This is really, really very embarrassing. And I, you know, and what I, what I want to know, I mean, why the guy, he stuck with the 350? I'm trying to think about it in theological way. Like, why 350? Why not 351? Why not 345? Three, what about 365? I mean, that's more perfect, like one person for every. But I thought about it this way. 50 Muslims get killed. So now we, we have to double them. You, you know what I mean? We have to double them. So six times. Five, six, seven. Seven times, brother. I mean, they don't lie at all. Uh, somebody saying uh, uh, garlic is good to reduce uh, blood pressure. No, my friend, it's not garlic, it's Muslims. 
look at this news how funny it is now my blood pressure is done I, I have to hire it now what are you talking about uh, Muslim news is the best news look at this and soon is going to be in a Jazeera I wouldn't be surprised if already they said that in a Jazeera you know what let me search in Arabic if if that can be found in Arabic news hold on I, I I'm sure they, they should have it in Arabic news um, no, hold on. <clears throat> I'm searching in Arabic to see if the news. I'm sure it's it's gone to uh, to Arabic. Here we go. It is in Arabic already, brother. Hey, brother, it is in Arabic. Here we go. In New Zealand, brother, 350 people convert to Islam right now. Allah Akbar. Brother. <laughs> I bet you you can find the video in all languages. <laughs> Uh, let me let me try to search in Urdu. In Urdu, a brother to talk. A brother in the last 24 hour, brother 350. This is Urdu, supposedly. Uh, I'm just joking, okay? <laughs> a brother to talk. In the last 350 person from Indonesia, actually from New Zealand, they became a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. And let me now translate to you to English. Now, this is the Urdu version of the English of Zach and Naik. Anyway. <clears throat> I mean, you see the news is all over. Hmm? Look. Let me search for this. See, si. si, senor. Here we go. I'm telling you, the news is all over. See, here we go. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> oh, what I can say. True story, brother. True story. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay longer here. I don't want to keep you longer because I know most of you are married and you have dishes to wash, and I feel sorry for you. And even maybe some of you is under the watch of his mother in law. And some of you even he have to do his bed and his wife is counting like nine ten you know i mean almost so i don't i don't want it to be i don't want you to be in trouble hmm? do you know the do you know the story of the arabian guy there's two arabian guys they they met together in the park they are friends so the first one he said to the other one man my wife she's driving me crazy I don't dare even to speak to her. The other guy, he said, what? You should see. You should see what I do with her at home. She don't even dare to move. Said, what are you talking about? He said, do you don't believe me? Oh, you sound like you don't believe me. I will show you. Go, go, come with me. So they went home. And the guy, he opened the door of his house. And he shouted to his wife. He said, hey, where are you? I want hot water immediately. And the woman, she said, yes, yes, sure, sure, sure. No, no. The other guy, he said, wow. Man, how you can do that? You see, you see, I told you, I told you now it's time for you to go, okay? Go, go, go. You know, because now you will see what I will do. She will she will clean uh, my feet, she will do massage my feet. She's like a slave for me. So the guy he opened the door, but supposedly for his friend to leave. The wife she heard him, he said, You idiot, where you are leaving? The hot water is ready. Come and clean the dishes. <laughs> True story, Sahih al Bukhari. <laughs> hey brother, hey brother. So I don't want anyone to have a problem, you know, and uh, I don't want to cause you any problem. So the hot water is ready and it's time to wash dishes. So you better be careful. <laughs> and if you want to learn how to teach your wife how to behave, come to us. We are the Arab. We can teach you, brother. We can teach you. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Uh, by the way, according to uh, search, uh, number one uh, domestic violence uh, uh, in Morocco is women beating their husbands. I'm not joking. Women beating their husbands. <laughs> You see, always we speak about in Islam, you can beat your wife. This is, let us say, a virtual world. In reality, in the Islamic world, women, they are beating their husbands. So number one, number one, domestic violence in Morocco is women beating their husbands. Absolutely. Mm. And you are telling me you want to have 72 women and you want to have four women. I mean, one woman, she can beat the hell of you, especially they are there. They are really big there. I mean, Alhamdulillah, very big. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this video, by the way. There's nothing there. I just wanted to share this with you. I mean, this is funny and silly. I mean, how in the world those people, they have no shame to fabricate news and publish it and say 350 people converted to Islam and then everybody is getting them busted. The pictures they posted, it's fake, it's old. The video they posted is old and the Muslims are copy-paste as usual. You see, just make anything up, anything up. Say whatever, you, you can do that too. If you make now a video, for, you know, like saying 3,000 people convert to Islam. And use, let us say, uh, get a Chinese video. And nobody knows what they are saying. And type there that 3,000 people convert to Islam, or let us say 100,000 people, like uh, get a video, have a lot of people there in the whole stadium. Trust me, the Muslim will copy the video and spread it all over. What is your opinion about the war in Afghanistan? I, I think it's uh, useless. George Bush is an idiot. He, did, he should not do it this way. You know, you can fight them from the airplane, never have a soldier in the ground. Each time Al Qaeda that they build a room, destroy it for them. Let them have fun. We have all the toys we need. But American, they are not really, you know, the American leadership is a, is a kind of a, I mean, who, who is George Bush? Is really fit to be a president? In USA, you are a president not because you're fit for the job, because you are elected and you have money. You know, you have a propaganda machine sponsored by money, businessmen. They make you a president. Otherwise, I don't see any of those who was a president before and until now. I mean, even Trump. What Trump, he, he uh, is a businessman. You see, like, the difference between USA and other countries. As an example, if you see Putin. Putin, this guy, he was a KGB officer. He spent all his life in, 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 that, in that business, authority and uh, intelligence and uh, uh, fighting for his country, whatever you, you like the country or not. So, and you look at then at the USA, you get a woman, like look at those Congress women in the, in the, in the USA. I mean, they are funny, they are stupid, uh, men or women. Uh, the, there's a guy, he go on the ski board and he wanna, he wanna shut down, he open the borders. The other guy, he wanna spread marijuana. He wanna stop war in, I mean, everybody have to go high. I mean, if you listen to them, you feel that those people who they are going to lead this country, they are coming from different space. You know what I mean? It, it, there, is, there is nothing to download. I mean, it's just a news about, uh, it's okay. You know? <laughs> There's nothing in the video. I, I, will, I will make a different video for, for you. Don't worry, don't worry. Tomorrow we will talk about it again before we are... But this one is just a, like, a, I'm just having a, a nice conversation conversation with you. I mean, look at my English, by the way. It's getting better, isn't it? Since I start eating hummus, I mean, less hummus, I noticed that my English is getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> politics, politics have nothing to do with leadership in USA. Politics in USA is about how to be uh, politically correct, a liar, and to be sponsored by some groups. If you can get those all in your side, you are in the office. As simple as that. Your qualification is not needed. Nobody asks you. I mean, they, they were going to make Hillary Clinton a, a, a president. What this what this woman she knew is about being president. Uh, there, is, there is a president, the American, they are proud about him. His name is Reagan. Reagan is the biggest disaster ever, for sure, better than Obama. 
<laughs> but Reagan is the reason for Hezbollah to exist now. Hezbollah killed more than 200 Marines and the idiot Reagan he would draw instead of demolishing all Hezbollah overnight he would draw so my friend uh, uh, countries are made by leaders Russia 20 years ago was in chaos they got Putin and Russia today is the most powerful nation in this earth nobody have power as much as the Russian need no American no European no Germany nobody go and see what the Russian are today so leadership when they have a guy like Yeltsin Russia was women Russian women sadly they were for sale imagine I don't know how old are you guys but not long time ago you can search right now Russian bride imagine you purchase Russian women in slavery you purchase poor Russian women for sex this is how it is this is what they did to Russia because of a leadership so countries can be demolished because of a stupid leader as simple as that and for sure you don't have to agree with me uh, you know <clears throat> I lied about what my friend the, uh, the Muslim the Muslim people whatever you say to them they say to you a line but once I enter a chat room I said the Prophet was a good man they said to me they are a liar I say he never raped a woman he said you are a liar I said he did not kill children he said they are a liar I said they never accused him of stealing underwear they said you are a liar as long as it's a Christian prince is talking they have one word to say you are a liar even if you say Muhammad was a good guy so don't worry about them do you think really I care if the Muslim they say I'm a liar or not? Actually, if they say if they say he's telling the truth, it means I'm lying. From now I say to you, if a Muslim ever says Christian Prince is saying the truth, either this guy he lost his mind or Christian Prince is really lying. One of two. Just put that in your consideration, please. <clears throat> If they start saying God bless you Christian Prince it's mean Christian Prince became a corrupt man if they start saying Christian person is he always tell the truth that's mean Christian Prince is really now is not telling the truth as simple as that uh, but anyway <clears throat> I was going to invite you to the party where 350 people converted to Islam but sadly it turned to be fake news so now we would what, what we would do where we would go hmm من وين انت غالي شنو اني 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 ياباني انا ياباني by the way uh, there is a new scientist uh, a japanese scientist he's very well known uh, uh, person he converted to islam too his name is yama i do fabricate yama this is the same same scientist he is the cousin of yama i do lie yama the muslim always use this name The same as their science in the Quran, the same as, you know, Armstrong converted to Islam, brother. Armstrong converted to Islam. They made an interview with him. He laughed. He said, this, this is false. <laughs> George Bernard Shaw, brother. George Bernard Shaw. Do you know what George Bernard Shaw, he said about the prophet? Fabricated the news. <clears throat> did, you, did you hear Al-Qazafi in his speech? I wish I can find it in the internet. If somebody speaks Arabic, can look it for me. He, uh, once he have an, uh, he was making a speech, I think, in Africa. It was in Africa. You know, he, he paid a lot of money to call him the king of Africa. He's crazy about being called the king of like what? So he gave a lot of money for those people to call him the king of the king of kings of Africa. Sorry, did I say sorry? Sorry, yeah, not sorry. Sorry. So the king of kings of Africa. Hmm. In this speech, he was speaking to hundreds of thousands of people. He says, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, even Shakespeare is an Arab, and his real name is Sheikh Isbur. What? I mean, for me as an ignorant, I never thought that. She's Shakespeare, his real name is Sheikh Isbur, and they lie to us and they say he was Johnny English. How, how you do that? Why you English people lie to us 
when Shakespeare is an Arab and you say to us he's his real name he, so, he, so he's not Johnny English I thought he's Mr. Bean it turned no he's an Arab Jake Isber welcome to the Middle East right yeah uh, when a Muslim he say a news for you they are, it's the same as Muhammad Muhammad he say something it's mean Muhammad he don't mean it when Muhammad he said you know one of you actually sent me he says uh, you said that the Prophet said um, uh, everyone he will have an endless penis uh, I said yeah he said and at that time nobody asked him how that can work <laughs> I mean what do you mean how you cannot walk it's at work think about it you have endless penis oh what you need is an endless vagina and actually he said that he says can which means an endless penis huh? and is going to be a vagina fit for that so imagine the women I mean how what how 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 the vagina would fit for that that means the vagina is going to extend. I mean, how wide the women? <clears throat> uh, can we pray uh, together before we start the program? Uh, uh, my friend, uh, I have my program for everybody. And always I start my program with saying, Peace of a Christ. And that is a prayer. The best prayer you can you can pray for is peace of a Christ with everybody because when we have peace with us we have everything you see peace means security peace mean comfort peace that's mean you are not worried so I pray and if you think I did not pray before I start my my, my program you are mistaken by saying the peace of a Christ I just made the biggest prayer you need All right a person and this is the problem with Islam you see Muslims cannot find peace with, within them themselves so how you can give peace this is why Islamic nations they don't live in peace go any country just name one where Nigeria Niger Mali Libya Somalia Egypt Syria Iraq of uh, Pakistan I mean where because this religion don't you know if you don't have something you cannot give it if you don't have it you cannot give it this is a religion does not teach peace is not about peace so how you can share peace right don't use bad language mr. Fox please what the hadith about a man getting pregnant in the in the Jannah why you are changing my topic now I mean, come on. <clears throat> All right. But remember, the translation for the hadith in Islamic website is not really accurate. You know, it's not really, you see here, like they say, in a short while, according to his desire. The believer, when he desire a child in the paradise, he shall carry it. And he will be pregnant, you know, and he born, and the baby will be born and complete again in an hour as he desire. Now, the word sa in Arabic today is used as a word mean hour, but in fact, in the time of Muhammad, it used to be equal to between 15 to 20 minutes. So, what Muhammad was promising the Muslim that if one of them he want to get have a baby, his belly will go up, balloon, a brother. A brother Zakir Naik, why your belly is getting big, brother? Did you eat watermelon, brother? A brother, I did not eat good men. And the reason for me, I have a big belly today. Because I desire to have a child. And I'm going to deliver it in within an hour from now. Please call me later. And by the way, this is true. This is, must be a true story. What is making me worry about this hadith is not about you getting a baby inside your belly it's about how you get it out that's the question you are a man 
and now the baby will come out from where hmm did you Muslims ask your prophet from where you will get the baby out from your mouth from your uh, uh, <clears throat> man that will hurt that will hurt badly you will explode actually do you think a baby can come out from your anus how you can deliver the baby and I mean you Muslim you read those stories I mean you don't ask yourself how the baby will come out oh boy thank 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 God I am NOT a Muslim and if I am I will never desire to have a child no way I mean over my dead body buddy <laughs> and by the way this is not fake news this is a true story brother I have Muhammad here when he said that <coughs> this is not fake news this is a true story don't ever think that this is not a true this is a true story yeah uh muslims called people of the book no only christians and jews called people uh, people of the book and that is a very stupid of the quran author actually uh because if you say the christians and the jews are people of the book so then how you say they have a book which is corrupt i mean how you call me a person of the book but you don't have a book how they say to us the bible is corrupt and then they call us people of the book i mean do you see how silly it is Imagine I say to you the guy with the car and then I say you, you don't have a car <laughs> Unbelievable unbelievable true story. I don't know what to say with this guy <coughs> No, no nobody converting those are not converting people to Islam. This is was turn This is turned to be a fake news my friend. We are making this video here to show that this is a fake news uh, Those who made this video and they post it in the news agencies imagine imagine even a TV station aren't you ashamed as a TV station to post something like this actually it's very silly I mean even the video it you can tell it's an old video you can tell from the quality you know the camera the the size of the video you know when it used to be like four by four whatever it is so I mean how silly the one who posted find different video man anyway can you call me quickly on a skype after this stream i want to ask you something about the army thank you i message you already in skype uh, in, just let me tell you something i don't talk first i don't talk really in private about my private life i share what is acceptable to share anything else is not to share so don't ask me don't ask me how old are you don't ask me where you live don't ask me what's your name don't ask me what do you don't ask me anything I share only what I like to share uh, <clears throat> can you talk about little boy in Jannah please I have been looking for for it so long so long my friend <laughs> why it took you so long to look for it <laughs> All right, <coughs> it's going to take me so long too to find it too. All right. <coughs> Here we go. Chapter 52, verse number 24. Now the translation here is not really... Uh, Main servant, what main servant? Well, this is main servant. I mean, look how look how they deceive in the translator. Let's, let, let us change the translator, see how they, the, the, the whole story will change. Main servant, huh? they are men, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, we changed the translator, it became boy servant. <laughs> fake news, fake news. Muslims, Muslims, don't, uh, don't expect them to tell you a true, a true translation, never. The other translation was saying what men servant we just changed the translator both of them are muslims it became boy servant and by the way they are very beautiful like pearls which mean they are very white there's no black boys there no way allah will not allow that brother because allah is a racist god uh, so allah will provide you with boys anyone knows who are they, those boys 
Who are those boys who will be serving the Muslims? According to some interpretation, they say that all those are the children of the Christians and the Jews. Have you kissed the black stone? I am not kissing women to kiss black stone. Are you crazy? I mean, how stupid is that? Why in the world want to kiss us the black stone? Unbelievable. <laughs> Have you kissed the black stone? Do I sound like stupid for you? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Muhammad, he flew in a flying horse? No, actually, no. Muhammad, he claimed that uh, Allah, he sent him a mule. A mule, it's called al buraq But this mule does not have really uh, wings. So I don't know how... You know, obviously, the, the story here is talking about Muhammad. He did not really fly as much. He went in a road, you know, going to heaven. You know, remember that Muhammad, he claimed that heaven, which is in the sky, supposedly, but it's connected to the earth. Even the Euphrates River is coming from heaven, which is very stupid. I mean, how that can be? Uh, maybe next time we go on air, you ask me about the same question so we can go in details. If you remember before we mentioned there is a tree, it's called uh, the Luta tree. Anyone remember? There's a tree, and that tree, the branches of it goes for 100 mile or 100, uh, sorry, uh, a year. Uh, uh, you walk underneath of it for 100 year. Imagine. And this is the tree of Allah. And under the tree, there's rivers, four rivers. Two of them is the, the, the Euphrates and the Nile River. And the other one is Sihon and Jehon. And those are names, all of them, all of them they are coming from, uh, from the Sabian territory, which means Muhammad is copying the Sabian. So here you see Muhammad saying, the Messenger of Allah said, Shihan and Jihan. And the Furat, Euphrates, and the Nile River are from the rivers of Jannah. So how this guy he claimed that his Jannah, his heaven, is in sky, and that he is talking about Nile River? <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Madness! 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 Uh, does anyone knows what website? Yeah, I, I am uh, reading. Um, this is an English uh, Islamic website. It's called sunnah.com. Let me post it for you. Thank you for those who are making donation. And now I can bring the 350 people who converted to Islam to explain to them that they should not convert to Islam. And then after I explained to them for two hours, they will say to me, but we did not convert to Islam. It's a fake news. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, <clears throat> Historically, Isra and Mi'raj was false. A year mosque built was incorrect. First of all, you see, if you go in the Quran, my friend, nowhere it says in the Quran that Allah He took Muhammad to heaven. Nowhere. As usual. All what the Quran is saying that Allah He sent or He took Muhammad to the farthest mosque. But where is that? No details. No details. This is the only verse speak about that. Chapter 17, verse number 1. Nowhere it says he took him to heaven. Nowhere it says he sent him down from heaven. Nowhere it says he been in heaven in any way, in any how. Not even single time in the Quran. And here you need to ask yourself a very simple question. How such an important journey is not mentioned in the Quran? Or why it says that Allah, he took him to the Aqsa Mosque. Aqsa Mosque, by the way, is not this one in Jerusalem. Nobody knows where is that Aqsa Mosque. It says the farther mosque. 
it cannot be the Aqsa Mosque because this is not the farther point of the earth, is it? <laughs> you see, when you say Al Aqsa, if you change the translation, the translation here, this guy he is adding too much words in the translation. Here they, they translate it as the distance mosque. Where is that distance mosque? I mean, this is a very stupid story. And, you know, there's no witnesses. There's nobody saw. Nobody was there. Even Aisha, she said in some reports that he was, he went by the spirit, but not by his body. Anyway. <clears throat> I am from Taimur. Last, least can... Uh, get your book because I'm very interested in my friend you can get my book from Amazon as a Kindle version if you cannot have it as a paper book Kindle you can order it as a Kindle do we have any Abdul you see I'm really happy to see people from around the world like here I, this is the first time I hear somebody saying I am from Taimur and Taimur, this is east of Taimur, right? Is it east of Taimur? Is that the country where the the, the Christian been tortured before and they, they attack them and then lately they got their independent? Oh Taimur, where is where is Taimur then? Is is it the same? Oh, okay, so you, I'm right. Yeah, I was really, you know, when 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 this happened, I was really happy to see those Christian people there. They got their own state finally, and they 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 were able to be independent. But you see, this is what we say always: uh, leadership. But what it changed history, leadership. At that time, the Prime Minister of Australia was a good man, and he is the one who jumped to help them, while the whole world was watching, as usual. You know, as usual. Uh, anyway, the word Islamophobia. You see, I, I never saw have a somebody have a phobia as much as Muslims. The Muslims five times a day, the first thing they do, they curse us. Allah, don't make us the same as the Christian, and don't make us the same as the Jews. This is a chapter one, verse number seven. Read it. It says, don't make us the same as the one who is our lost and those who they are cursed. Who is the one who lost? Ask any Muslim. He said, you're the Christian. Who is the one who is cursed? The Jews. Five times a day. Nobody is have a phobia. You, you know, somebody have a cross, they have a phobia. Somebody, he said, Jesus, they have a phobia. Somebody have a Bible, they have a phobia. Somebody eat pork, they have a phobia. I mean, who is the one who have a phobia? The word Islamophobia created by the propaganda of the Muslims is sponsored by the propaganda of the liberals. Both because of them, both of them, they have a phobia of Christianity. They are in bed together because they have one enemy, which is us, the Christians. It is them who have a phobia. If somebody insult the prophet, we want to kill him. Who is the one have a phobia? Do you see Christians you know, want to slaughter people because somebody said the F word to Jesus? Isn't this a phobia? Somebody make a cartoon, we go and we attack them, we kill them all. And yet you talk about phobia. Right? So they can say as they wish. But all of us, we knew who is the one really have a phobia. You know, even liberals, by the way, they are not better. Like, a cross, I saw two women, they are suing in California. They want to take a cross down. Memorial cross for, for the veteran who died in the Second World too. I mean, why? Because they have a phobia from the cross. The same as the Muslims, exactly. I mean, what the cross is doing to you, it's a, it's a, it's a rock. What, why this cross is? Phobia. <clears throat> the word kafir... Okay, you see the word uh, the word kafir is not an Arabic word. It's coming from the Aramaic, which means something is hidden or something unseen. Uh, 
uh, all those verses in the Quran they are speaking about the kafir the kafir simply is somebody is hiding something all right and even sometimes you can use it for the one uh, you, you know, you Muslim, they use it, but they don't know really what it's mean, most of the Muslims. And they think it's an Arabic word. If you go, uh, if you go and search for old cities in the, the Middle East, like in Egypt, or uh, in Israel, or in Syria, or in Iraq, those who they used to use Aramaic somehow. Um, because even the Egyptian, they have a lot of impact of the Aramaic on them. So the word kafir, you see in Egypt they say kafir, etc., which means it's a village in the middle of nowhere and nobody knows about it. That's why they call it kafir. It's like unseen hiding place. So kafir is somebody who hide hide something, he cover it. All right. Like he don't want to be leaving Allah, so he's a kafir. He's hiding supposedly the truth. Okay. <clears throat> but it's not an Arabic word. But as usual, Muslims are the last one to know. But today I will give you an example actually about Kufr here, different from the one usually you hear. If you go in chapter 2, verse number 256, it says, فَمَنْ يَكْفُرُ بالطاغوت. And the one who became a kafir in shaitan. But Muslims, they don't use that to say to somebody he believe in, you know, uh, I mean, he's a kafir in shaitan. That's mean he's a Muslim, supposedly. So you can call him kafir in this case. But they don't call a Muslim kafir. Because they are ignorant. They don't know that this word can be used even for a person who is a Muslim. <clears throat> Any other question? Anyway, thank you for those who made the donation. I really appreciate your support. Um, somebody saying something in a language I have no idea what is that hold on let me turn on my Allah translation and now I will translate to you I think this is uh, this is Indonesian and I think they are saying Christian Prince he eat only hummus My real name is Abu Bakr Giuliani. I mean, what what is that Giuliani? It sounds like a, like a, like an Italian. My real name is Abu Bakr Giuliani bin Khattab. Giuliani. I don't know. Is, isn't it better if we make it Berlusconi? I know, like this Giuliani thing that doesn't fit in the middle. I mean, where do you get this Giuliani from? Is that coming from gelati or something? I don't know. I have no comment, my friend. Maybe. Giuliani, <clears throat> uh, yeah, Giuliani, yeah, Giuliani, Giuliano. Hmm. Can you explain chapter 49, 7? Okay. 49, 7. Hold on, this is 48. 49, 7. Okay. <laughs> Well, this verse really is not too much dangerous. But uh, uh, here, uh, 
you know the, the, this verse if you think this verse is making Muhammad a deity uh, you are mistaken this verse is a lot less dangerous than many other verses because here it says if the Prophet he obey you or he agree with you uh, for sure then Allah will curse you right so here if you see this verse you will find that Muhammad is not obeying supposedly or he is not agreeing with the people but do he agree with Allah and that will raise a question which is very dangerous because according to the hadith Muhammad don't agree with Allah but the Muslim they say that the hadith when Muhammad he speak he speak because Allah told him but Allah told him the Quran how the hadith can cancel the Quran how somebody he says to me that Allah he gave Muhammad Quran he gave him orders and then Muhammad he made an order to cancel what Allah order maybe some other time we can go more details about this can a Muslim be married to a Christian yes Muslim they can marry Christian women only if a woman she is a Muslim she married to a Christian he have to convert to Islam or else which means he ha she have to be killed and the reason for that Muslims want to spread Islam to be sure that all the babies will be Muslims to for their father because Muslims they uh, they give the authority of religion only to the father which means uh, the children's they have to be from the religion of the father himself not the mother so if a Muslim man marry a Christian woman then the children have to be Muslims and this is why a Muslim woman is not allowed to marry a Christian man Yeah, this is news anyway, guys. This news we are we the, this video here we are just exposing that this is a fake news. Don't think this is a true news. Uh, this this is a video is made 2007, and the Muslims they copied it. They made an article about it. They spread it all over, saying 350 people converted to Islam and turned to be fake news as usual. It's simply a fake news, all right. And this is why here. Uh, we are getting them busted actually. We are not, we are not here to confirm. We are here showing that this is nothing but a lie. Look like there's, there's an audio in this website. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Fake news. Fake news as usual. Yeah. Even they publish it in TV stations. You believe it? I mean, even to the TV station. Look at this guy. TV station. Akbar will come. An la ilaha illallah. Uh huh. Ashad u anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Uh huh. Alhamdulillah. Takbir. I mean, I am sure those people they left Islam already. Especially this guy in the left. This is. This is published yesterday, but the fact, the news from 2007. You see it? This is the same video, 2007. The title of the video is Five German Converted to Islam. I mean, five, they made them 350, and they are in 2017, so 2007 in Germany. They made them 2019 in New Zealand. I mean, it's a true story. Always a brother always trust Muslims Muslims. They don't lie. I never saw myself a Muslim. He lie Starting from Prophet Muhammad This is an old video from 2007 The pictures the images everything they have is fake It's fake news and you know now they are trying to take it down by the way see like you will see they are trying to take it down because everybody is laughing at them all video and images shared an individual converting to Islam after Christ Church massacre. In March 15, at least 49 people get killed, etc. In horrific massacre, two mosques, blah blah blah. Okay, and then the Muslim they spread the news and they start posting those images. 
but those are old images do you know the terrorist attack in Christchurch uh, killed uh, 51 Muslim and, and the number is increasing now 51 today uh, mostly 350 people converted to Islam and then later we find that this is news this is all the news this is all the, uh, uh, images they are copying it and they are fabricating news all of this is fake And look here, look, look at this image, guys. Look at this propaganda here. I am a Muslim. Buddhists kill me in Burma. Burma. Christian kill me in Afghanistan. Christian kill me in Afghanistan. You're right. And Hindu kill me in Kashmir. And Jewish kill me in Palestine. Is still I'm a terrorist. When the fact that they started the opposite. More than 80 million Indian Hindu being killed by Islam in India alone. 80 million. 80, not, not 18. 80. Uh, in Burma, the Buddhists they are killing me. If you go and see the news, you will see they are fabricating tons of news. The fact it is was the Muslims, the army of the Mujahideen, they attack the police and they slaughter hundreds of policemen. They cut their heads. And when the police respond, they say the Buddhists are killing us. Who is the one who made the attack in Bali in Indonesia? Who is the one who put bombs in Thailand? Who is the one who put bombs in India? Who is the one? I mean, look how they fabricate the news. Yeah, 80 million. 80 million Indian killed by Islam in India alone. You can, you can go and search. Me, myself, I have no expert in India. This is what they say in their history. All right? I mean, you see, this guy, he is saying to you, I'm a Muslim. I am not a terrorist. So who is ISIS? Who is Al-Qaeda? Who is Boko Haram? I mean, how many thousand women they are kidnapped and raped? Who is a Shabab in Somalia? The only religion who have organized terrorism, international terrorism organization is Islamic religion. The only cult in the world who have international terrorism organizations. Huge. To the point they have tanks and missiles, not like a gun. And yet they play victim. Islam is nothing but terrorism. This is the truth. You see, when the Quran says, beat your wife, this is terrorism. Terrorism is starting Islam from the house. You terrify your wife to obey you. And then there's the terrorism of uh, of silence in people. If you don't, if you speak the second today, we showed you to, if you if you watch the video before this one, you will see how they you know. It says if if somebody says the prophet is black, kill him. You remember? Go watch the video, and we show you the difference. If somebody leave Islam, kill him. This is terrorism. If somebody leave Islam, kill him. This is terrorism. What does that mean? Why why you want to kill him? Because you want to terrify the others who wanna who might think to leave Islam. All of Islam is based on terrorism. And Muhammad himself, I said, I am being victorious by terror. And even he said that people were terrified of me from a distance of a month journey. I mean, do you see how peaceful he is? Imagine if we say Jesus, he said, people have been terrified when they hear about me from a distance of a month journey. Allah made me victorious by terror. Of affrighting my enemies for a distance of a one month journey. Guys, my Skype is not open because it's 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 late. I have more four wives are asleep now, and I have my four mother in law, and they are Muslims. And if I wake them up, they will kill me, they will make me shishkaba. You know, Arabian women, they are crazy. 
my Arabian family, they are really very crazy. So I'm not going to open my Skype for now. Maybe tomorrow. <clears throat> You know, in the last, in the last, what, 20 years, 30 years, I mean, who is the one who do attack every day? To the point nobody condemn it no more, became like a new, like rain. In the last 24 hours, how many attacks happen in the name of Allah? And then there's a guy, he go crazy, and he do his crime, and then suddenly, the Muslims are the only victim in this, even this guy, by the way, he was inspired by you. Even this guy who killed 50 people in New Zealand was inspired by Islam. This is what you do. Isn't it the guy who attacked in the Florida just like two years ago and he killed exactly 50 people in the gay club and he was a Muslim? Exactly. He did the same like this guy. He went into a club and he started shooting the gays. Killed 50 gays. And now you want to play that you are a victim? Ask Allah to help me with my wife's mother-in-law. No, I have a better solution, my friend. Uh, I gave them an advice the Prophet he gave to drink camel urine. And since then, all my mother-in-law, they are suffering from a kidney stone and they are poisoned. They don't even leave their head up from the bed. I showed him the Prophet says drink camel urine and since then they don't drink water and thanks to Allah they are so sick they have a kidney failure kidney stones I don't think it's a stone I think it's a it's like a big rock I think it's like a 50 to 50 inch TV rock the Prophet my friend the, this is the medicine of the Prophet I mean, are you kidding me the Prophet he knows best I mean, why Muslims they go to hospital if the Prophet he says drink camel urine? Muhammad he have two medicine. Actually, the whole one. Sorry, we have to be honest here. Three medicine. One is camel urine. One is the ajwa, which is the palm tree date. You know, the fruit from palm palm tree. And the third one, anyone remember? Who remember? What is the third one? Let us see how many of you are getting old. What is the third one? Camel urine and the ajwa and what? Uh, come on, it's easy. Don't make me remember. Uh, once I heard in the in the in the Saudi TV in Ramadan, uh, <clears throat> there is a there is a question. If you answer it, you get one ounce of gold. So the guy he said to them, "There is an insect mentioned in the Quran, and it make honey. What is the insect?" The first team start negotiating, and the time is up. And then the question went to the second team. They did not recognize it. <laughs> you believe it? I mean, how silly this question. A brother, there is an insect mentioned in the Quran and it make honey. What is that insect? The first team, they start discussing. Bingo, the time is up. Now the question moved to the second team. I mean, what in the world? <laughs> so the prophet, my friend, he have a three medicine. One is camel urine. One is the palm date. A fruit and the third one is honey now usually Muhammad anyone come to him he said to him drink honey even if he have a diabetes if you remember the story where the guy he came to him about his brother and the guy is getting sick more and more and Muhammad at the end he scream at him each time he come back because he is not getting better and he said to him your the stomach of your brother did lie told a lie and Allah he said the truth And one of the funny stories about Muhammad, if you remember when Muhammad, he said, uh, <clears throat> if you eat every day, seven ajwa. You see, I hear, I notice something. I mean, why Muhammad, he did not say, if you eat every day, 350 ajwa. Huh? Why he did not say, if you eat every day, 350 ajwa? Why seven?
if the prophet he knew about the 350 fake convert he will change the hadith and he will make it a 350 ajwa but sadly it is seven ajwa so for now we have to live with it so the prophet he said if you eat seven ajwa every day in the morning no poison or magic can affect you and brother i will tell you a true story me myself i did myself you remember last year i told you i went to the jungle of brazil which is in africa and you know i'm very good in geography because i went around the world true story by the way this is a true story so in the jungle of brazil which is in japan i, I just said africa right? it's in japan actually yeah, yeah so in the in the jungle of brazil a big 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 cobra and by the way it's an indian cobra and somebody he imported that cobra to brazil just to kill me you know for just target me to this is assassination movie james bond and brother the cobra and her sisters they attack me and they did bite me i'm not going to tell you where they bite me because i'm very shy and the brother nothing happened to me brother because at that morning i ate seven ajwa and this is a very true story very very true uh, you don't believe me i swear by allah <laughs> and the funny later we find that muhammad he said that actually you remember muhammad he said that he died because of poison i mean how you say to us <laughs> how you say that the one who eats seven ajwa no poison can kill him and you yourself die by poison <laughs> Unbelievable. By the way, later I'm going to share some pictures of me because some of you don't believe that I went to the jungle of Brazil in, uh, in, 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 in France. You don't believe me, don't you? I have to show you evidence. Okay, infidels. This is a very true story. So the prophet, he said to us, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect you. And later we find that him himself, he died by poison. And where is the protection of Allah? My friend, my friend, let me tell you the story. Like why you are, why you are wondering why Brazil jungles became in France? I will tell you this story. And you now I challenge you to prove me wrong. Okay, now we have a smartphone. You are now in Japan. Can't you watch YouTube, which is made in Brazil and Japan? You can, right? Okay, here we go. This is what happened exactly, brother. But the whole different story is because I was using three-dimension technology. So I was in France, but I was in the jungle of Brazil. I want to go to Amazon, brother. <clears throat> Why want to go to the Amazon? Do you remember Muhammad? He said there is a in, in the grave. There is a there is a snakes will go inside your anus. I want to record those snakes. Every snake in the grave have uh, have seven heads, and every head have uh, ninety nine seven heads, and every yeah, and every uh, and every snake have ninety nine head. Oh boy, what does that mean? Like four hundred ninety uh, snakes? All of them will go inside the anus of the man. This little anus will go. I mean. Look like those snakes, they have no housing, homeless. I feel sorry for them. <clears throat> oh boy. Anyway, what we can do? Would you make Zakir Naik accent and live stream time? That's really make me lul. You know, I will tell you about lul. First time I enter a chat room, I never been in a chat room before, and then I go in the chat room and people they say lul, and I say what? What is that lul? <laughs> I mean, people they post in the text they say lul, and I am an Arabian guy trying to understand and investigate lul so look what i did i went the brother to the quran and i started searching for the word lul 
and get what I found that Allah is the first one who said the word dual and this is what a copyrighted for Allah Loon Unbelievable Loon I mean this is a, what kind of language is that uh, l l hold on hold on let me tell you this one uh, uh, you know my English was really really horrible I mean I speak but my pronouncing I mean like a grammar typing it's really so I enter a chat room and I never have a chat room before like this is just the first time ever I hardly I just knows how to turn the inter the computer first time I get the computer I turn it on I do not know how to turn it off so I switched electricity and I was saying to myself they 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 fool me they 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 gave me a computer which is not working obviously here we go I'm switching the switch it's not turning off anyway I mean American stupid American so I went to chat room and uh, I said to them hello guys you know in chat room they can bounce you out they can you know I say hello guys and everybody starts cursing me you stupid blah 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 what's wrong with those American why they are rude I just said hello guys I entered the second chat room I said hello guys the same story the third chat room hello guys the same story the first guy the first room same story. everybody is cursing me and later I noticed I was saying hello gays <laughs> Unbelievable! Look like my grammar was the same grammar of Allah in the Quran, and my spelling. And I was wondering why those people they are screaming at me like, "What's wrong with them, those American?" I mean, I said nothing. I did nothing. <laughs> Hello, gays. <clears throat> anyway, anyway. <clears throat> uh, let us see. Have you memorized the Quran? No, I did not really memorize the Quran. I memorize. You see, I don't memorize word by word, but I memorize, let's say, uh, the verse. Uh, like. My memory it worked this way. If you mention to me a topic, right away my memory grab the reference, and this is what I memorize, which means I do not need to memorize in order. You know what I mean? I do not memorize like from verse one to verse, etc. No, I memorize my reference. So anything have to do with the topic, right away I get the reference in my head. Uh, but if you say to me, can you recite the Quran um, from verse 1 to verse, I say, no, I cannot do that. Okay? Because the reason I, I will not, I will never do that, because simply memorizing just to memorize is, is a stupid idea. Right? Because there's a lot of garbage there. So I understand the Quran. I remember what every verse is saying. I, I memorize uh, how to find it very easy. I mean like the uh, sentence is there, but I do not need to memorize it letter by letter sometime sometime I do sometime I memorize the whole thing But I don't memorize the same as Muslims they do Muslim they memorize but they don't understand and they don't even know how to find it uh, Actually me myself I, I trained myself not to memorize things is not important If you take me to a restaurant and we eat there and if you ask me what was the name of the restaurant I will not remember I don't care uh, names of movies uh, actors singers if you ask me to quote for you as uh, the only singer I remember is Michael Jackson because it's a child molester that's it I'm done <laughs> so I don't put in my head garbage because it's not going to be useful for me I mean, why I need to know the names of uh, of those people? What for? Remember, you know, like your, your brain uh, have ability, and the more garbage you put in, you are losing ability. It's like, like it's like you have a memory, you know. So why you want to put trash inside? If you, you know, like 
you, you go you, you you turn a radio station uh, yesterday I was listening and they were saying last week last week they were saying uh, who is taller this guy or this guy I mean how silly this program I mean they are talking about actors who is taller I mean people are, you would you are dying my friend you see every time every minute we lose from our life we are dying you are wasting your time to talk about who is taller this guy or this guy and what and so what what that would do to you or to me so there is people who they uh, abuse their brain in silly and stupid stuff me myself for sure everybody he's uh, he have his own idea but you know for me it's silly it's stupid maybe for someone else maybe I am the stupid one so for me I believe it's a stupid to waste my memory and even my time to memorize things is stupid you open a TV they are talking about uh, actors and this guy he got divorced this guy he got married this guy is a cheating this guy I mean who care I mean why I want to even listen to this garbage what those people can do to me so since I was a kid I don't really care for those things I care for important I know that it is really important to know I used to read books which is not for my age since a very early age uh, and that made me grow and be mature a lot faster uh, and this is why I actually encourage your children if you have a children's encourage them to read the the best thing you can do to your children's is to make him read and read books which is educate them really not stupid books uh, you will notice that your child he changed you know we we are different we are different after we learn we are different a human being is not the same before and after he le he learned so an education have nothing to do with degree there's many people they have degrees but they are stupid they are ignorant they don't even know how to say two, two words together they can't answer your correct question about anything uh, and there is uh, people they bring you to a TV like they ask you uh, in the year etc a company open what was the name of the company this is not even education because this is will not really help in anything I mean why I need why I, I want to put a lot of garbage in my head like this there's things as useful for a human being can be used for the future can change even history can make something of you uh, uh, you can be a person you see when you learn you have to ask yourself I will learn to do what exactly from this I study mechanics so I can fix cars not just to study mechanic and watch cars so if I'm going to use it to fix cars then that's good if I'm going to study it just to waste my time that is silly so always try to invest your time in something useful useful for you useful for your family useful for people around you useful for the world so you can be a person who generate not somebody just observe there's a stage in the early age of you you observe but then if you don't provide from what you observe it's mean it was a waste of time All right if you could not really teach if you could not show uh, intelligence of what you what you learn uh, you know in your life so what you did what do you say about sada guru i don't know who is sada guru who is this guy is that the love guru let me search his name in google to see who is sada guru Anyone knows who is Sada Guru? Sada Guru. Ah, ah, okay. Well, you know, I respect this man. He's a wise man. He's in, uh, I believe he is a Hindu, right? Uh, I saw his videos. But there's many things he's saying. I, f I find it kind of fictions more than reality. And it's more uh, a fantasy philosophy more than uh, something real. I wish one day I can have a discussion with this guy because he is a very smart, intelligent. I can I can tell, 
and he's a he's a wise man and for sure I respect him and I don't like uh, he's not like those uh, sheikhs uh, the Muslim sheikhs this guy here he have a lot of a spiritual uh, uh, you know let us say uh, uh, believe or he's carrying a lot of uh, uh, logic with him but I find that most of his logic is kind of a fiction logic have nothing to do with reality if I if I play a video for him now I can you know for me I can come with many mistakes he said I don't agree with it at all immediately but you know for some people they found him very convincing No, I don't think I don't know that this is the logic of who, but this is the logic I find it uh, far away from the from from reality, and anything is far away from reality, is not true. You see, like when you speak about love, and then you try to apply love to food and your stomach and your belly, and I mean that's not really, this is not love, uh, or you try to apply justice to a city justice. Uh, we can, you know, if we want to play the game of uh, a person who knew how he talk, or let's say those people have have a skills, and the skills is I can deliver my idea to you in a very magical way. Let us say, even if it's a false idea, I can make it look so smooth and so beautiful. Uh, but still, the false is false. I wish I can make a video of him, you know, uh, maybe one day. You know, there is actually uh, somebody, he's a Hindu. I respect this guy. He's a very nice friend of me. He's a Hindu person. And he sent me his video. Um, I agree with him with some stuff he says, but there's a lot of things I don't agree with him. The Mahdi, first of all, Al Mahdi is a joke. There's nothing, it's called Al Mahdi. Whoa, what is Al Mahdi? What is Al Mahdi? Even the Muslim did not even know what Al Mahdi Everybody is guessing. Secondly, uh, uh, secondly the name of Al Mahdi is very really weird. Do you know what Al Mahdi mean? Al Mahdi mean the guide, the guide, or the guide. Allah is the guide, supposedly. So, how he was in the Mahdi? And then you find that the Mahdi, the Muslims, they come with their fiction stories, that he have a mother, uh, her name is Nargis, and she gave birth to him, and not from her vagina, she gave birth to him from her side, because he's a holy man. There's no way Al Mahdi would be born of a vagina, absolutely not, <laughs> you know? So it's all stupid fiction stories, uh, always in history of the Arab. They create a victorious hero, a hero which resemble things they don't want in their life. So, what do you don't want? You don't want to be born of a vagina. Here we go. We will make you born not from a vagina. So, the stories of uh, Al Mahdi is nothing but stupidity and fictions. And uh, I see some Christians even they speak about it as if it's real. It is just a stupid story. Uh, anyway, please help me to understand the origin and the end of Muhammad borrowed where he borrowed him from. And I don't know what they mean, really. The origin of Muhammad. First of all, there is nothing to confirm that there is a person whose name is Muhammad is ever exist. I believe there is a guy who exists, but who is he? We do not know really. But Muhammad for sure is not the person. Or we can confirm that easy from the Quran. 
You see the Quran they have a chapter it's called chapter of Muhammad but in the same time speaking about a guy his name is Ahmed in chapter 61 verse number six it says that Isa and by the way in the Quran there's no Jesus when you see translation saying Jesus I assure you in the whole Quran there's no Jesus there's a guy his name is Isa we do not know who's Isa no Arabic Christian ever heard of the word Isa before never we Arab we call Isa, we call the Messiah we call him either is Al -Al Masih, which means the Messiah Al Masih, or Yeshua which is coming from the word Yeshua or Yeshua like if you don't speak uh, Hebrew so Yeshua we say Yeshua and that is very normal in the Aramaic language and the Aramaic language they turn sometimes the letter seen into sheen so Yeshua Yeshua but we do not know who's Isa so the Quran does not really give us anything about who is Muhammad nowhere we do not know even who is this Isa but if you notice here with me it says that Isa he said that he will send a prophet after him or a prophet will come after him his name is Ahmed and here the Muslim they translate they say is the praised one do you see it okay so who is Muhammad if the Muslim they say to you it's the same well it's obviously it's not then it's not a name because there's a huge difference between Ahmed and Muhammad if you say it's the same as a meaning that's mean it's not a name that is a title and that that alone proved to us that this guy whoever he is he was trying to replace Jesus he wanted to be the praised one don't we Christian worship Jesus and we say praise Jesus so all what Muhammad he did or let's say the person who the Muslims follow and they claim he's a prophet but the fact he is the real God he took a name of God yet he claimed to be a servant of God but he have a title of God if Muhammad is the praised one who is who is God then you know what I mean How, how a person who say he is a prophet he call himself a praise a pra in the praised one this is alone alone is a blasphemy against God obviously this guy is not a believer you know this is Satan only Satan he will call himself praise God the praised one because if you are the praised one who is the praised to So the name of this guy alone is enough to prove to us that he is the devil. He is not praise one. He wanted to be praised one. So this is why sometimes his name come as Ahmed. Sometimes his name come as Muhammad. And there's tons of reference contradiction of his life story. As an example, according to Muslims, if you have my books, if you have the deception of Allah or Quran and science and death, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is why I advise actually to have my books because my books is a treasure of reference. Like you can tell you sit with me for half hour, how, how many things we learn in this uh, uh, one hour pass. We learn many things, right? So my books is a treasure of reference, really. You will be surprised about how much reference there. Uh, when Muhammad he come with the message and says I am sent by God how somebody he sent by God he claimed that he is the praised one people should praise only God no, no. He, Muhammad should even reject to be called Muhammad that is a big sin against God if he really is a believer in one God But as you see, Muslims, they repeat his name and they don't even feel ashamed to even to say that we follow Muhammad because we follow the praised one.
and Muhammad he made it clear that he is one of his names is Al Mahi. One of his names is Al Mahi. What Al Mahi mean? The eraser. What he will erase? He will erase Christianity. Even he claimed that he is Al Hashir. Al Hashir is the one who will gather people in the judgment day, but that is God. Do you see? Muhammad claiming that he is the eraser. And he is Al Hashir. And yeah, Muhammad, he have 99 names. Allah have 99 names. Equal to Allah. When the Muslim, they say Shahada, what they say? They name Muhammad with Allah. So how you worship God alone, but you associate the name of a man with the name of a God. Uh, anyway, guys, it's getting uh, really late here. Um... Yeah, 29 dislike the Muslims, you know. The Muslims they like me, what I can say. I mean, put your put the Muslims in my shoes, they will dislike me. I mean, this guy, do you know how many Muslims left Islam because of Christian prints, videos, and books? Scary number. So, to the point I showed you in the other day in, in Indonesia, they are saying I am number one threat to Islam. Where is the where is the website? Anyone have it? Number one, a threat to Islam. Why? I mean, what I did. Did, did you see the email sent to, to me from YouTube? From the Pakistani government? The Pakistani government? I received an email. Actually, I received many emails. All of them in the same day. From YouTube. Saying, an official in, 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 in entity, government entity, um, contacted us about the following videos, and I was I was reading what is this official government entity? I thought maybe Department of State, FBI. I mean, what's happening here? And then at the end, it says Pakistan. You are afraid. From a video of a guy, his name is a Christian prince, and you are a government of Pakistan who have nukes. You have nukes. <laughs> I mean, how that can happen? Yeah, thank you for posting the link. Yeah, here we go. This is the link. It is. Now this website have a lot of advertising. International appeal for debate defending Islam. This is one of the most famous, well-known form in Indonesia. Some they say it's number one. It's called Copa. Sanya, Copa Sanya. And here they are starting talking about me. And for sure they have some wrong information about me. They think I'm a next Muslim. I am not. The internet world does not recognize the blasphemy law. Freedom of opinion cannot be suppressed or forbidden. At present, Islam is experiencing a great shock through the internet world, especially from YouTube. The shock like massive tsunami that can knock down buildings with a very solid foundation. Meaning there is tremendous effort to tear down the foundation of Islam through free debate in YouTube. In several episodes of a debate, this by the way, translation, the, the, the article is not in English, it is in uh, Indonesian language. Uh, this is Google translation, as simple as that. Uh, episode that can be witnessed through the world. 
some Muslims who lost the debate immediately adore uh, uh, abandon their Islamic religion people who they are considered the most dangerous to the survival of Islam throughout the world through YouTube are first Christian Prince and now he's talking about Christian Prince he's a real Arab by the way I'm not made in China real Arab a very deep in expertise in the field of Islam and Christianity now he think this guy the more when he made the article he think I'm an ex-muslim I'm not he left Islam and changed to Christianity dozens of videos of his debate against Islamic expert all over the world can be watched in YouTube at this time he claimed that no Muslim could defeat him in a debate because according to him Islam was built on lies and dishonesty he continued to invite debating world-level Islamic expert to debate for an example Zakir Naik or uh, to to argue but until now Zakir Naik has not appeared and then at the end the guy here he is asking the Muslim scholar to stand up and defend Islam therefore I mean those people they have a lot of advertising okay therefore the the world of Islam hopes to help smart people ex, uh, uh, Islamic expert especially professor doctors lecturers clerics and scholars to dare to appear on YouTube to argue and uh, an opinion order to defend and help build Islamic glory based on good Islamic experience in Indonesia the most dangerous do you remember what I said to you that when you learn you better learn for something useful you know what I mean one day when I studied uh, I was studying Islam by the way my degree in Islamic uh, in, in, in law have nothing to do with my knowledge uh, because they don't teach us really they teach you law they don't teach you really any, anything deep uh, but your knowledge can be very helpful and one man can change a lot and today we are lucky actually we have something that's called the internet right now you guys are coming from around the world I have people listening right now from everywhere here we go it's all the middle of the night it's 1 a.m. in the morning and yet I have uh, almost 700 people watching for sure if we go live on USA time we will have a lot more but the internet open the gates to expose this cult and they can't stop us no more now the internet too is what Muslims use for their propaganda as we saw here the Muslims they made false news saying that there's a lot of people converting to Islam three uh, 350 people convert to Islam in New Zealand but the same internet they use to pro for their propaganda to lie it's the same in you a same internet which exposed their lie and as you see we found that this is a fake news have nothing to do with what they say fake news so internet is good if we know how to use it what is right in the way in the right way and this is what I try to do I want to say guys thank you no not even one person this is a fake video you know this is what we are making this video here it's a fake news it's fake this video is from 2007 the Muslim they are posting it today they are saying that those are people converting to Islam just in the last 48 hours and then we search for it we find that those are this is a video posted in 2007 this is the video let me post it for you this is exactly the video they are posting it is from 2007 liars have no shame will you make your book digitally available already my uh, deception of Allah and Quran and science already they are in ebook the rest are not uh, and in the coming few days we will have my new translation uh which is in spanish will be published all right in a very very short time uh, already the book is ready actually uh 
we are waiting for the confirmation of the copyright and the book will be published in Amazon in a Spanish language so now we will have the books my books in German Spanish Swedish Dutch French uh, and for sure in English and so on I hope in Portuguese Portuguese I mean God is good God is good All right uh, And by the way, those who speak French, please tell your friends about my book in French because this is the uh, this book until now is the one that did not really get what it deserved. It's a very fantastic translation. The translator, even he made my book, he's a translator, his translation is better than my original book in English. Imagine how good it is. It's really good. Uh, but yet, because most of people who's, who come to listen to me, they speak you know English. So I don't have French people. So if you are a person who speaks French, please tell your friends about this book. All right. Translation of the Quran, I'm working in it. I'm working in it. I mean, what do you want me to finish it that fast? How I can finish it and I'm oh, doing every day, how many hours, live streaming. In order to finish it, really, I have to take like a break from doing live streaming and just focus in it. All of this will take a lot of time. It's not really, it's not that easy. And, uh, you know, to be, uh, when you make a translation too, you have to be very careful, very accurate. You see, in, in my translation for the Quran, you will not, you know, and I promise, I will never give anything that is not honest. I will not do what the Muslims do. Everything is going to be exactly as it is. And actually, I'm going to support any translation which is different from Muslim translation, I will make like the, the uh, I have already I made it like in the in, as a note so every chapter at the end of the chapter I have like note number one note number two three so you can understand what is this about uh, so I will do my best you know to make it the best I can but for sure it is uh, need help for Indonesian language my friend I don't speak Indonesian and there is supposed to be somebody trying to uh, translate the book my book to Indonesian we will see already I have my book in Malay I did not publish it yet I hope soon is going to be out so that is going to be a good thing too in the in the Malaysian language uh, yeah thank you Guardian thank you yeah you know uh, my health thanks God is good and as long the brain is working I'm fine you know but uh, I get tired sometime because it's too many hours sitting in the in the like now uh, my my knees start hurting me because you know when I uh, I don't know how to explain to you when I sit I'm a person who like uh, I don't relax I don't know I this is how I am so I don't relax like my muscles is stiff so I, I uh, it hurt me if I don't walk you know for and uh, I don't have a wireless uh, I used to have a wireless before. But they are really expensive like you can walk around and when you are talking but now we are stuck with this microphone so it, it's not easy to stay in for many hours not only it's your throat it's even your your back your knee your you know god help us uh, where is where where are you in the marines no i was not in the marines no no i was not but I think if I join the Marines, brother, they will uh, they will cancel that force. They will change their mind. Um, <clears throat> uh, everybody will go home the same day. I mean, like I go in the Marines, everybody go home. That's it. We, I, I, I resign. The colonel will resign. The everybody will resign immediately. Right away, we get in and we said, "Okay, sit down. No English, please. Let me tell you a story about Sahir Bukhari." All right. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And as you see, we got them busted. This is a fake news. They are lying. And if you see Muslims posting uh, that 350 people converted to Islam, and this is the video. 
this is where they get it from they are liars and they are fabricators and actually let me give you this uh, website here because in this website too they get them busted too I just found it actually this is the website so if you see them posting that 350 people converted to Islam get them busted here we go the link is with you oh you see it so I want to say thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you all and I hope we will see you soon again maybe tomorrow maybe the day after I sometimes I say to myself I'm not going to go tomorrow but the bad thing about me I cannot resist seeing you guys you see I am addicted to be with the family you are my family I love you all so I want to say thank you again Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon take care bye, -bye.